Uh, yes, good morning. Uh, this your soul brother Talib. Uh, yes, um, I just want to say that, uh, you know, it has uh, been a lot of talk, especially this year, 2019, which is uh, supposed to be the year of return of uh, back to Africa for, uh, uh, so to speak, Africans living in the diaspora, especially in places here in the Western Hemisphere. But however, um, in, 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 uh, you know, people have been talking about this, you know, about black people going back to Africa or even leaving, going to other countries to resettle or what have you, you know. And I mean, you know, it's like this, uh, that is something that I am myself embarking on doing. You know, hopefully in the future, long as I could keep waking up to open up my eyes, you know, but um I'ma just say this here, you know, um as far as that go, I am willing, once I do get the opportunity to leave America as a dark skinned descendant of slave born in America, I will leave America and will not turn back. And it's just that simple. I get that opportunity to get out of America, I will not look back because I know what it's been like for me for over half a century as a black person living in America, experiencing what being black is in America, okay? When it comes to racism, stereotyping, racial profiling, you know, and, and, and the whole nine yards, you know? So I know that it's definitely time to go. It's been time to go. And, you know, I'm not like most typical uh, black Americans, you know, who's so entrenched in wanting to always wonder or worry how things is going to be if they do go to another continent or another country, wherever that may be of their choice. It's all about get there and then worry about that later. You know, because the most important thing right now is, is that um, we have to put ourselves in a position as black people to no longer have to worry about being in America, where we face a crisis every day of either getting our head blown off by some racist, punctified police or, you know, getting our uh, selves harmed by other races in one way or uh, shape or form, you know, and experiencing even dying at the hands of each other like what's going on every day throughout many cities in America, you know. And, um, you know, like I said before, we're at a point right now and our time in history as a people who've experienced so much atrocities as a group of people for going on 500 years in this nation that, you know, it, being that we're not going to unite, you know, as a group of people to carve out a better situation in the future for ourselves as a people and our future generations, then uh, we might as well leave, you know. And, and I tell you, you know, it's more better, you know, that we leave than remain here, you know, being the cowards that we have been for so long, most of our lives, while we continue on accepting this brutal racist treatment and, 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 and that goes along with our slave-like condition as a people being in this country, you know, that's a coward, whereas a brave person who would choose to live or go leave 
to be in another country somewhere where they could be treated more better as a human being as well as appreciated more as a human being and for who they are you know and not being scared of the unknown that's more braver than being in America as well as remaining in America to accept this abuse that we've been getting for so long as a people you know so I mean it's just that simple you know and, and um, I just uh, you know want to say also too that um, it's I've been seeing you know because not, Africa is necessarily not a place we got to go to now there are different places like in Latin throughout Latin America or Asia and even in, in parts of Europe that we could go to to relocate and settle at you know where we will be treated more better as human beings and of course you know like I heard in the video there is no perfect uh, utopia country in this world so yes we can't leave America going somewhere else to expect that but still there has to be a better place than America for our circumstances as dark skinned descendants of slaves born here in America and that's why I'm pushing this message constantly in every video I make from here on now even in videos where I, I may speak about entire different subjects you know this will be brought up somehow you know because I mean you know um, we have to understand that our situation is very dire and fragile as a people here in America and that uh, you know we have to understand that uh, we have to realize our lives and freedom is at stake you know they're incarcerating us majorly to anybody else you know which is definitely a signification of racism you know that permeates their system here in this country as a result of the racism you know you see many of us dark skinned descendants of slaves born in America that overpopulate the prison system but yet there's supposed to be Caucasians who's the 80 percent majority population that commits the most crimes in this country than anyone else <laughs> but you know you find that dark skinned descendants of slaves born in America or other darker skinned people comprise of the most among those that are incarcerated in this country, you know. So, like I said before, you know, it is getting to the point that uh, we're going to have to make a move. Simple as that, you know. It's no waiting around. And even for those of us who are dark-skinned descendants of slaves born in America that has already embarked on their journeys and left America, whether they went somewhere in Africa or Asia or South America or whatever, you know, at least one thing about it, they don't have to worry about uh, being confronted with being, uh, you know, a typical, what they call black person in America. And what comes along with being a, what's called typical black person in America, you see. So, like I said before, you know, it's not about worrying about, you know, what it's going to be like in another nation. It's about getting up and going, especially if you got the resources to do so. I mean, you know, I mean, this country is not getting any better, especially for dark skinned descendants of slaves born here in America. You know, so, uh, I mean, it's just, I, 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 I mean, you know, and this idea must be pushed, you know, it must be pushed, you know, I mean, those of you, especially in black YouTube land or black social media who claim 
and, and as well as especially in the pro-black conscious community that claim you do your research well you need to start researching so, some of these countries to go to is already being put out in social media where there are uh, you know countries to go to that will you know positively embrace black Americans you know from the United States you know so like I said before I mean you know you need to do your research on that type of stuff which is going to be more beneficial you know because I mean it's not it's it's no it's no guarantee that being dark skin in America or as a dark skin descendant of a slave born in America that you're going to wake up to see another day without possibly losing your life at the hands of a racist police or at the hands of some other type of racist or even at the hands of one another you know it's no guarantee that we're going to be able to come back home in one piece and remain free without possibly being locked up on some crazy trumped up charge or something especially because of racism in this country you know these are all the realities we have to deal with every day you know in America it's dark skin descendants of slaves born here in this country you know and you know many it's unfortunate that many of us as dark skin descendants of slaves born in America just don't understand and realize this but you know my thing is this you know black people like most other people in this country in general think that America is going to remain rich and powerful as the nation that has been for so long which history has proven over and over not to be the case as always you know and also which proves that things just simply don't go like that so you know and with the political and economic uncertainty crisis facing this country you know anybody especially those of us that are dark skinned descendants of slaves born in America should be making some drastic moves to get out of America and some people have already left America which happens to be Caucasians now you know like I've said in other previous videos when you have Caucasians who see what's coming down the pike line you know who's, what's coming down the pike and that making moves to get out of America then that should tell us something especially as dark skin descendants of slaves born here in America you know so like I said before we need to understand this very clearly you know that this is not a game you know we we are definitely under the hegemony of a, a flat out known racist president as well as a president that you know 1000% caters to so-called white supremacy and so-called white nationalism and it's getting only worse for us and no matter even who is the president after him <laughs> definitely <laughs> do not necessarily mean that it's going to get any better if not in but more worse okay and, and I don't care what president we have been under in this country. It definitely ain't never been so good for uh, dark skin descendants of slaves born here in America. But with that said, you know, uh, like I said before, uh, it's not our job to wait on this system to change or to be revamped, as I hear some people say, or to be broken period it's our job to get the hell out the way either we gonna do something by creating a safe haven and a new better existence for ourselves as a people and our future generations in this country as a group of people or simply the best thing 
other than that, it's just to get up out of America altogether. You know, and it's just that simple. You know, I don't know what's so hard, how how so hard that is to understand. And and a lot of you who are dark skinned descendants of slaves born in America have the resources, you know, that that can help change our situation all together as a people in this country. But because we're not a people that's united, that makes it very more harder on us, you know. So, like I said before, uh, I mean, hey, I'm going to keep on promoting this message. Like I said in any video that uh, I, uh, you know, speak it in or where I even discuss other topics beside what I'm talking about at this moment, you know. And, um, oh, and by the way, too, um... Before I close out, uh, I like to talk about also um, all these trolls and all these cowards that want to flag brothers' videos because, you know, they telling the truth about the fictitious or uh, pro-black conscious community and the RGB movements and all these other comedic and pan-Africanist uh, frauds. In the so-called black conscious community, you know, just expect to receive the legal consequences that you got coming with these actions, or rather behind these actions that you're perpetrating, you know, against our brother Angel Snub Snub 7 of Reality Temple's ministries on earth, you know, because that's not cool, you know. That brother got the right to speak what's on his mind just as well as y'all have the right to speak which y'all be talking about which ain't about nothing in y'all videos, you know. That brother have a right to speak what he speaks. And if he can't speak then y'all shouldn't be able to speak. You know. That's not cool. You know. And, 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 and another thing too, I am totally behind him when he says that if he got to involve the white man in it so be it you know I'm with you I'm, I'm with him 1000% on that you know I mean you, you, you know you, you, if you can't handle the truth or like they say if you can't stand the heat get out the kitchen you know, it's just that simple. Because like I say, most of you in uh, black social media land, as well as in the pro-black conscious community, and social media ain't really talking about nothing anyway, that's going to be a benefit for us to get up out this situation that we're in as a people in this country. You know, so I mean, hey, he, he got more right to say what he want to say. You know, and, and when you talking about flagging somebody, especially when they ain't did nothing to you, but you want to come over on their channel and harass them and then turn around and flag them, that's just straight up uh, punk stuff. And I don't cuss all the time, but I'm going to say this. That's also bitch types, uh, you know, uh, female stuff to be pulling. You know, it really is. Because it's not cool. And no disrespect to females. Because I know most of these people that's probably doing it are men. You know. But it's just, it's just bitch type stuff. You know. It really is. And it, and it need to stop. It really need to stop. You know, won't none of us be on social media talking. If, if, if ones keep this up. And like I said. I am 1000% behind our brother. Talik. You know. And with that said. I'm out of 5000 peace.